Hello guys, how are you today? My name is Abdullah Jusahwan from Indonesia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to continue our previous video and in this video, we are going to insert our to-do item to our database. So let's open our previous project. So this is our previous project and as we know in the previous section, we have create to-do screen. We have show all categories item in our dropdown and we have show that picker. So, right now, we want to save our to-do item to our database. First thing first, we need to go to our database connection. And as we know, in the previous, we have created one table inside our database. That is categories. Alright? So, our task right now is we need to create new table inside our database. So, we give comment right here all right and we know to create table inside our database we can see this all right so we can see right here and we can execute sql syntax and we want to name our table as to do's and inside this to do's table we want to create the first column is id so we say id integer primary key the second is title and we assign with text and then description text again and then category and we assign with text again and then to do date and text again is finished with integer so as we can see inside our table we want to create six column id title description category to do that and is finished all right after that to handle or to save our value we need to create a new model so right click on model and we need to create new file and we name it as to do all right and we call is to do and because we want to save six item or six value inside our database we need to create six variable the first one is id the second one is title and so on all right and like the before we need to map our data with map object so we create new method we name it as to do map and inside that we need to create new variable and we name it as mapping and we assign with map dynamic all right and inside that we say mapping and we want to map id which is this id is our column name and again and so on after that we need to return mapping all right after that we need to create a new file to handle our job so we need to create a new service and we name it as to do service and then we name our class as to do service and inside our class we call our repository and we initialize our repository after that we need to create new method to save our data and we make it to be asynchronous and we want to return our repository and we say insert data and we want to insert our data to to do stable and what we want to send to our database is to do and as we can see we have our error because we haven't yet provide any parameter inside our save to do method so we need to create or we need to provide parameter inside that and we need to provide to do and we say to do and it's mean that now we can call method inside our to do object and the method is to do map all right and after that we need to back to our to do screen and our save button is on rise button and we see inside our on press we haven't yet assigned any method so firstly we need to make this method or we need to make on press to be asynchronous and we need to create new variable and we name it as to do object and we assign with our to do all right after that 
we can call to the object and we say title and we can assign our title with controller which mean to do title controller and the second is description all right and we see error because we need to parse this control to be text and for our category we need to parse to be string all right after that we need to call to do service and we assign with to do service and after that we need to assign result variable with to do service and we call our method which mean save to do and we need to provide parameter inside this method and what we need to send is to do object all right the last but not least we need to print our result all right and let's run our app all right and let's go to our create to do and let's fill some data and pick a date and pick a categories let's say college and when we press save button we can see error unhandled exception and the error says database exception no such table to do it mean that it's happened because we have installed this app in the previous video and in the previous video we haven't yet create table name to do the solution is we need to uninstall this app and we need to install again and for the very first this app will create two tables the first table is categories and the second table is to do all right and just do it all right i have uninstalled the app and i have create some categories and let's go back to create to do's and let's fill some data and let's press save button and now we see one it means that this is first data that we insert to our database all right so the one or one is our id for this data all right so it's mean that we have successfully insert to do item to our database all right so the next step that we have to do is we need to show snack bar or something like success when we have successfully insert our data to our database all right so we can see on the previous let's say insert our category screen and we can copy so success snack bar just copy and paste inset our to do screen after that we need to create global variable and we name it as global key and we can assign this to our scaffold and we say above of our app bar and we say global key all right but this haven't yet reference so let's go to our on press which mean save button and we can say right here if our result more than zero or more than zero we need to call our so success snack bar and inside that we need to provide text widget and we say create it all right so let's restart our app let's fill again and let's save and we see created and we can see two all right So I think that's enough our video today. See you on the next video.